Here are the latest provisional mortality statistics from the Australian Bureau of Statistics, the ABS. These figures are for January through to October 2020. As I said, these are their latest figures. Its description and purpose is, Provisional Deaths Data for Measuring Changes in Patterns of Mortality During the COVID-19 Pandemic and Recovery Period. Key statistics. There were approximately 116,000 certified deaths in this time period. Deaths have been lower than average during the winter months in 2020. Respiratory disease deaths have been lower than historical minimums since June. Let's take a look at the details. In March, we can see there was a spike in COVID infections, shown in navy blue. Consequently, there was a significant increase in deaths, shown in red, as compared to the previous five-year average. 2015 through to 2019, shown in orange. From about late May, early June however, the death rate has been fairly consistently less than average, and was heading downwards. Even in August, when there was a spike in COVID infections, the number of deaths was still less than the five-year average. And as we can see in October, 2020 deaths are significantly less than the average. One could almost conclude that Australia has become a safer place throughout the pandemic. But let's not jump to conclusions. Let's look at more data. Here's a graph of deaths due to heart disease. As we can see again, 2020 deaths, shown in orange, are significantly less than the five-year average. Cerebrovascular disease, so things like stroke, aneurysms and so on, are also down, significantly less than the average in October. Deaths due to respiratory diseases are significantly down across the board. These include pneumonia, influenza, emphysema, and so on, but does not include COVID deaths. However, there have only been a total of 909 official COVID deaths in Australia throughout the entire pandemic. This graph shows weekly deaths from respiratory illness. In the first week of September, for example, there were 405 deaths on average over the last five years. That's in a single week. If we look at the peak deaths in September over the last five years, in some weeks, well over 500 people died per week from respiratory illness. Imagine the headlines if we changed that to 500 plus COVID deaths per week. Australia would be in a permanent lockdown. But this is normal. Hundreds of people dying from respiratory illness every week in Australia is extremely normal. Even outside of peak flu season, 200 or more people die every week from respiratory illness. Why didn't we lock down society back then? Remember, there have only been a total of 909 official COVID deaths in Australia. That's equivalent to only a couple of weeks of peak flu season deaths. If you're scared of COVID in Australia, you should equally be scared of regular respiratory illness. There were 9,977 deaths from respiratory diseases between 1st of January 2020 and 27th of October. The average number of deaths for the same period, between 2015 and 2019, was 12,161. 2020 ended up being surprisingly safe. Deaths due to cancer have been fairly close to average, unsurprisingly. Diabetes, fairly similar. Dementia, fairly similar. Anyway, the point being is that 2020 was a relatively safe year compared to previous years. Deaths have been lower than average during the winter months, and respiratory disease deaths have been lower than historical minimums since June. I guess the main reason for this is that people are more health conscious. They're taking more care in social settings. They're perhaps seeing less people. Naturally, less deaths will follow. So did COVID make Australia safer? Yes.